everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two good quarterbacks in the AFC South that know each other really well. It's Marcus Mariota and the Titans taking on Andrew Luck and the Colts. With that, let's welcome in our fine broadcast team. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, we appreciate it, Larry. It's our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here at Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person. Big unit against big unit. Meet on me. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche. But we know this. The ground's going to shake. Things are going to rumble. And they're going to have an impact on today's game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Adore Jackson on the return. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Tennessee Titans taking the field on offense. Marcus Mariota had the hamstring injury in week four, so that's something to track if he can't go. Matt Castle will be the guy. And the hamstring issue that he has, you know it affects a mobile quarterback even more because that, that really shrinks their playbook. The quarterback run game goes out, and then what you're worried about is him trying to exit the pocket to create more time to throw downfield. You don't want him running around a whole lot on a bad hamstring. Matt Castle filled in last week when Mariota got hurt, but he had three turnovers in that game. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. It's Murray. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. No other way to say it, but it was an off year for DeMarco Murray in Philadelphia and Chip Kelly's offense. Didn't really seem to be a fit, but when he went to Tennessee playing for Mike Malarkey, Boy, did he fit in a big way. Finished third in the NFL in rushing behind Ezekiel Elliott and a late charging Jordan Howard. He was ahead of Howard much of the year. I remember Coach Malarkey in preseason said, DeMarco Murray's my number one back. He'll get plenty of carries here, and he did. Mariota. And some room to maneuver. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. So they're operating in the red zone. down throw for Mariota and his throw here is incomplete Brandon it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment but let, let's face it that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in yeah nice job to force the incompletion A 
On second down, Mariota again. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. And on third down, the Colts have added an extra defensive back. Flooding the passing lanes. From the gun, Mariota. And he locates Walker, complete. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. First down and goal to go from the seventh. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. Rashard Matthews, a seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Titans are able to strike for six. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision, because they do have the final call now. Ryan suck up on for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a Tennessee score. Now here's Suck up out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. So Jacoby Brissett brings out the Indianapolis Colts. And last week, Brissett got another start against Seattle, 16 to 29, a touchdown and an interception. But Andrew Luck is to start practicing this week, so he's getting warmed up. Ah, that's news. It's music to the ears of Indianapolis Colts fans, right? But in the meantime, Jacoby Brissett, who came over from New England during the season, starting to get more and more comfortable with the offense, understanding what they want on a daily basis, 
and his talents come to the front. His mobility and his calm and cool, that's helping that Indianapolis offense out. First down, Brissett. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Doyle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Now Brissett, and his throw's going to be incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Hey, that gives us a chance, by the way, to play Charles' biggest surprises at the quarter <laughs> mark of the NFL season. Take it away. All right, let's stay in the AFC, okay? Because I'm going to say the Buffalo Bills. 3-1, and one, leading the AFC East. Rookie head coach and Sean McDermott, they're doing a fantastic job in the early going. The AFC West, I don't call it a surprise at all. We knew it would be a monster. It absolutely is. And right now, Kansas City leading at 4-0. Denver 3-1. and Oakland, we all thought they might win this thing. They're 2-2 two and, two and just lost their quarterback for maybe an extended period of time. But how about the surprise of all surprises, Brandon? The New York Jets are 2-2, two and two, not 0-4. <laughs> we all thought that the next week or this week coming up when they played the Cleveland Browns, it might be the 0-0 oh oh ball. <laughs> Instead, the Jets have two wins and looking to add a third. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Come on, let's go! Brand 38! They'll throw again. Brissett toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. And that'll bring up second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Let's go! A second down throw for Brissell. Man open right side. It's Rodgers. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another good reception there. The Colts on the march. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Set to throw on first. Over the middle complete. It's Doyle. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And hey, welcome back. The offensive unit, they took the timeout. And now they get set to line up as we resume action. Second down, they need less than a yard to pick up the first. Alert, alert. Let's go. Again, it's Brissett. And complete to Moncrief over the middle. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock.
From the red zone now, Brissett. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Derek Morgan coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Set now on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. He's at the 50. The 30. Past the 20. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz. They dial it up. And it turns into six points for him. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Suck up for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Quan Bray now to return this football. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Colts trail at home at halftime. The Titans have looked good on the road and will just try to keep the ball rolling in the second half. All right, let's roll those moving pictures. Titans taking the field for their opening drive. Mariota's going to complete the pass, and he caps off the six-play drive with the score. First and ten, Morgan's going to get to the quarterback here. This will go for a loss of eight. Sticking with the same drive. One play here, and the ball comes out. Titans recover the ball and return it for a touchdown. As they move out in front, 14-0. So that'll do it from here. Let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. They've got the second half from Indy. Brandon.
So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. On first and 10, Brissett. And avoids the contact by sliding. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second down. Second down and four. Backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That'll go as a loss of nine, and it leads to third down. Well, that wasn't just a loss. That was a loss of big yardage there. So the sense you're starting to get is that offensively, things are starting to pile up against them, and they've got to find a way to stop that. Conversely, how about the great call by the defensive coordinator? He realized that he's got him on the run a little bit. That call was made to get upfield penetration by his defensive front to try and get into the gaps, get upfield into the backfield, and make a big play. I think that was actually called, not so much just to, you know, to get it done that way, but to say, hey, guess what? We're going to be aggressive, and we had an opportunity and seized it. And this is going to be incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. But you just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. The Colts send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. Good open field tackling there. A 50-yard punt followed by just a one-yard return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're cheating right there on the break, aren't they? They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now see if they stay on the ground for second down Mariota to throw it right side there's Decker and they'll take him down at the 31 yard line we have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. First down, Murray. 
And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. They go with Murray again. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. And he's brought down. A nice little juke move that preceded it, but not much thereafter. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. Here's Brett Kern now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. Fights him off. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here. First and 10. And the Colts getting ready to go. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game. And that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Brissett on first down. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Pass. Offense. So they say no to the penalty. The incompletion stands. It'll be second and 10. And what they want to do is go ahead and take those downs away from them. You never want to give extra snaps to any offense. That's how you get hurt. So second and 10 here. From the gun, here's Brissett. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. 
A nickel set shown by the Titans on third down. Think and pass. Here we go. Out of the gun, Brissett. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Logan Ryan. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. the Titans now. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. The Titans go victory formation down to a knee. should be in. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column too. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.